Harmonizer's Hit 102.5. Confused by too many brands? Come to the brand you can trust. Mount Isa Isuzu Ute. Hit News Briefing. Hi there, it's Amanda Milo with the latest. Foreign affairs is saddened by reports three Australians have died in the Middle East earthquakes. It's been confirmed consular assistance is being offered to the families of a man and woman whose remains have been identified by relatives in Turkey. Reports of a third Australian death are yet to be confirmed. DFAT is supporting around 80 Australians and their families who were in the region when the devastation broke out. And it's believed almost 24,000 have been killed. Southeast Queensland and northern New South Wales beaches are off limits this weekend with tropical cyclone Gabrielle to blame. The Cat 2 system is expected to rock Norfolk Island tonight, delivering wind gusts of up to 155 k's an hour, high tides and very heavy surf. Norfolk Island emergency controller George Plant has told Seven they're not used to this kind of weather. It's very rare for one to come this close to us. I'm born here, I've lived here most of my life. Most of them start weakening and we get the very tail end of them when they come to Norfolk. The Weather Bureau has put out a hazardous surf warning for coastlines across southeast Queensland and northern New South Wales. And days after that China spy balloon incident, the US has shot down a high altitude object over Alaska. The White House says it's the size of a small car and posed a reasonable threat to civilian flights. Only this an object because that's the best description we have right now. Uh, we do not know who owns it. That's uh, National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby there. Beyond Blue is here to help you achieve your best possible mental health. For more information, advice and support, visit beyondblue.org.au today. Day three of the first test between Australia and India and Nagpur is kicking off this afternoon. The hosts seven for 321, leading by 144 runs. Rookie Aussie spinner Todd Murphy will be keen for more wickets after staring a five for on debut yesterday. And Rugby League's women's all-stars clash between the Maori and Indigenous sides is underway ahead of the men's battle later today. While the latest NRL pre-season results have seen the Sharks defeating the Knights in the game today. Mount Isa's weather, clear skies, a top of 36 before falling to 22 tonight, mostly sunny and 38 tomorrow. It's the daily stories that matter in under 20 minutes. Search the briefing podcast on Listener, download the app now and listen for free.